Hi guys! Welcome again to a new video. I am again with Marsha here. As you remember, last week we made a video of 10 annoying things that boyfriends do. Mm -hmm. And now, to make it fair, we're doing 10 annoying things that girls do. Hello, because we're girls and it's actually easier to talk about this. So things. much easier. But the video is going to be a little bit different. We're not just going to mention the 10 things, 10 annoying things, but we're actually going to explain like the logic behind Man those 10 busters. things. Exactly, <laughs> we're going to break the meat. Why the girls do what they do. Why yeah, are we should annoying? Make a new TV series. So like not TV series, you should make like videos about that, you know? Yeah. Every week, find one thing and then like break down the myths. Do you like that? Okay. This is like girl code right now. You know the MTV show Girl Code? This is Karen's code. I totally trust you. I don't know the show. No, it's good. <laughs> you should watch it. You should also watch yeah? it. Yeah, okay. But okay, we're gonna start with the first annoying thing that we girls do. Girls take so long to get ready. Oh, yeah. Guilty. <laughs> Guilty too. Mm. No, it is actually true. And I think that the logic behind that is that you have to consider so many things, you know, what's the theme of where you're going, how, is, how are your friends gonna go dress. So many times, like, I'm wearing something and then I ask my friends, what are you wearing? Are you wearing a dress? Are you wearing jeans? Especially when, like, it's some event where you could potentially be wearing heels. Because I don't know how it is for you. For me, if I decide to wear heels, I have a totally different outfit. Like, heels determine what I'm going to wear. Because often, like, some dresses look really bad without heels, at least yeah. for me. And then I message and I say, hey, are you wearing heels? And everyone is like, no. Yeah. Then you have to start over. I barely wear any heels, so I have it easier. Oops. Something <laughs> fell. <laughs> but yeah, so there's so many things you can see there. And also we have to make, do our makeup, do our hair, try mm -hmm. like different pair of shoes, different, you know, so many things. So Different pair of underwear. Cause sometimes exactly, they exactly. So... There is not really a logic as to why we take so long to get ready. It's Just also it is. exactly you. You have to try different outfits on and see which one fits best. And exactly. So yeah. So this is very connected to the next one. Number two, girls always say that they never have anything to wear, even though the closet is full of clothes. That's so true. But I feel like the reason, at least, why I say I don't have anything to wear is because. Maybe the things that I have are not really good for the place that I'm going. Right. Or for the weather. Exactly. We'll or Holland. Exactly. Yeah. Or or for um, maybe they don't fit good anymore, you know? Like my weight fluctuates with the seasons mm -hmm. of the year. So Exactly. Especially don't you have it like in the beginning of summer, like in some like summer event, summer party, and then I'm there like, oh yeah, I have this dress that I got last year. Yeah. I yeah. love it. This is perfect. I buzz the baby out, I try to put it on, and guess what? It doesn't fucking fit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and oh I had something in the tip of my tongue and I forgot. Sorry, yeah, I some, stole it from you. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was related. Yeah, sometimes you have things that you, you think like no, never mind. I don't know what it's I'm gone. Saying. It's gone. It's gone. But yeah, I mean, sometimes the clothes don't fit. Sometimes you have like a lot of clothes, but it's not for the right season. Sometimes you just don't feel like wearing anything. They just don't wear nice or uh, so. Then I take my boyfriend's shirts. Yeah, exactly. So, and you you have to consider: Are you bloated? Are you gonna eat? Are you gonna drink? Are you on your period? You know, there's so many things mm -hmm. to consider. So having a full closet doesn't mean you have something exactly. to wear. Yeah. So now you know, guys, why we don't we say we don't have anything to wear. We really don't. Exactly. And well, number three, mood swings. <laughs> Girls are full of mood swings. Guilty. Another thing, Phil. Are you falling I'm apart? Shedding. <laughs> Mar I'm Marcia shedding. I'm shedding. Falling apart. <laughs> Um, well, I feel like I am guilty of having mood swings and I mean we girls are hormonals, like we're hormonal beings and especially if we have our periods then it's just like, you know, one moment here, one moment there, you know, like a wave like this. Having said that, I feel for guys to use that the line of like, oh, are you on your period? Exa oh my but god. every time like I'm not happy about something. That's just rude and you should not be doing that because frankly, men also fluctuate in hormones. So men also actually have their period except yeah. they bleed. And, and I feel like they have it every maybe like three months. We have it every month and exactly. they, they have their moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but why do girls have mood swings? Well, now you know because we are 
sensitive human beings. Yep. We are hormonal and we get our period and we can't control it, you know? Nope. You, so, so if you if you know that we're on our period, don't say, oh, you're in a period, you're annoying, because that's only gonna make us more mad. So, there's... We gonna fuck you up. Exactly. So, number four, also related to the period. Girls overeat on their period. Why? What's the reason behind it? So, the moment you say, are you going to eat all of that? Yes, I am. And then I'm going to eat your portion. And then I'm going to want more. Exactly. Don't point that out. It's just going to happen. I'm and going I'm to gonna, eat it. And I'm going to eat chips. And then I'm going to want to have something sweet. So I'm going to eat a chocolate. And then you want salty again. And then I want to order pizza. Mm -hmm. It's just like literally the logic behind this is science. When girls are on their period, they crave more carbohydrates. And can you imagine? I mean, we're bleeding from our vagina all you day long. You need to long. store that energy. Exactly, and mm -hmm. and it's and yeah. So when you're on your period, I feel like ironically you're also like how a pregnant lady would be, you know, right? craving like, everything. It's your body punishing you for not conceiving a child. Exactly, I'm bloated as fuck, you mm -hmm. know. So if it's not a baby, it's a food baby. Exactly. So why the girls eat everything on their period? Because the, that was very Latin period. Yeah. <laughs> Because we can't control it, you know, so it's not like we're suddenly gonna become this fat whale because we're always gonna eat like this It's just on our period. It's just our hormones. I became a fat whale <laughs> We don't we're not going to talk about we're this. We're not gonna talk about sad things. Exactly. <laughs> Which number are we? Number five. Five, yeah This is also related to food. Girls never know where oh. to eat or what they want to mm -hmm. eat and this is what I do sometimes because I know that I can't pick a spot myself. I'm the one that proposes, oh, don't you want to go somewhere? So then, you know, I proposed so he can decide where we're going to go. Exactly. Because when the moment he proposes, oh, don't you want to go somewhere, then I have to decide. It's like a balance decision. Exactly. My idea to go somewhere, you're already aware. Exactly. And I hate when they say, oh, no, you can pick. Like, listen, I asked you where to go because I don't know where to go. Exactly. But I feel, I, like, ask. I feel like the logic behind why we girls never know where to eat or what to eat is because we crave everything, oh. you know? So you don't want to regret your decision. You don't want to order the chicken and maybe seeing that your boyfriend got the beef and you were like, mm, I want a beef, I should have ordered beef. So I think that there's like a internal battle in your brain. Okay, what do I really want to eat? What do I really want to eat? Exactly. And sometimes you want to eat everything that you end up not knowing what you want to eat. But I also feel like girls are generally less of picky eaters than guys are. Like, I don't know if it's the same for you. No, I, I eat more stuff than my boyfriend does. No, for me, I think that's just per person because I am super picky. No, that's not true. But like think, you eat all the veggies, for example. No, right? you eat broccoli the other day. Yeah, I read I your broccoli, thing. I, I read your broccoli. thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I feel a lot of women are less of picky eaters in terms of like you know, they eat. They're more like they're more willing to try things than guys are, cause you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like when as you right. grow up, you become more like cultural. Right. And, like, so you know, as a guy, also. just pick where you want to eat, because I'll eat everything. I'll eat everything. Just pick. Exactly, exactly. And now moving on to number six. Complaining? Why did we vote complaining? Because complaining? Complain? What do we complain about? Girls complain about everything. I think especially at the ha in the house they're complaining about everything. You know, like why is it dirty? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? And I think that the reason because why we do that is because it because you don't do it. Exactly. <laughs> and like we don't like having to say out loud what you have to do, we like that guys read our brain, you know? I mean, it doesn't work that way, but... Oh, but also, you know, half the time, if there's your socks lying around, you don't have to be, like, super intelligent to just know to pick them up. No, but guys don't have, like, brains sometimes. For them, it says, what does it matter? It's just like, it's a sock, right? We're not gonna die for me. Obviously, we're not gonna die, but, but we're gonna complain. Nice. Yeah. So, the reason why we complain is because you don't do what we want you to do and we want you to do what you're supposed to do and we want you to know what you're supposed to do we don't want to say it out loud all the time because we ain't your mama we exactly about it in the last video exactly and also because if we tell you what to do it's gonna be like we're bossy like we're annoying so that's why okay we give you guys the freedom to do things and then you don't do them so then we complain yeah okay number seven girls are stalkers 
Mm -hmm. Put on your stocking glasses, get into that phone, get into that Instagram, find out whose stuff he's liking. We'll do it all. Yeah. We'll find out. Yeah. I will learn your mother's middle name and find out everything about you before we even go on a date. Listen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We girls like to investigate everything because we want to know what we're getting ourselves into. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to get in a date with a player or like a fuckboy. Yeah. Call it what it is. A fuckboy. It's a fuckboy. Fuck well, you know, I've never been in a date with a fuckboy. Have I? I don't know. But like, even when I went out the first day with my boyfriend, I stuck so much. It's like weird to sit in front of them and then they are telling you stuff and you pretend that you don't know them exactly. already. Mm -hmm. But you know everything and you just sit there and smile. They put their head tilt. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, but now you know why we snuck. I mean, why we stuck. We stuck because guys are assholes sometimes. So yep. you need to know what you're getting yourself into. Prepare. Yeah, also, yeah, exactly. And sometimes we don't stalk for ourselves. We stalk for our friends that need our help. Yeah, or the friends will say like, oh, you know, there's this guy who's texting me, but he's being shady. And then what do you do? You yes, investigate. Exactly. Oh, although sometimes investigating is not so good. Sometimes you find things you should not find. Oh, right. But then, you know, you found out, you knew. Yeah. Knowledge is power. Exactly. Number eight. Girls have many shoes and guys don't understand that why and It's annoying for guys because we take all the closet space if we live together I do have to say something about this. My boyfriend has almost as many shoes as, as I do, but His shoes take away more space Because, yeah, because they're, they're bigger. bigger. Exactly. So it, like for every pair of shoes that he has Technically space wise. I'm allowed to have two pairs. So, you know, yeah. If you have 20 pairs of shoes, he has 10, it's fair. Closet space-wise, fair. Yeah, I feel like also guys sometimes don't, don't realize how much shoes they have. Mm -hmm. And they blame girls for having... <laughs> Listen, you need them to have six pairs of the same sneaker in different colors? No. <laughs> it's the same reason why we need the same pair of black shoes in different models. Exactly. Because some are for the summer, some are for the winter, some are when you are when you are wearing jeans, some where you're wearing skirts, some, you know, there are so many reasons. Mm -hmm. It's a black shoe, it's just not a black shoe, you know? Exactly. So, now you know why we have so many of the same. Because we need to combine with our outfits. Because not, fashion industry is a bitch to women. It's not one size fits all, not one model fits all. Mm -hmm. Okay, number nine. Taking all the bed in the space and the blankets. Uh, what? Taking all the space in the bed. <laughs> yeah, taking all the space in the bed. It's fine. The blankets. Good. Um, I don't know why we do this. Why do we do this? I do it sometimes, but majority of the time my boyfriend does it to me. And then I wake up alone and cold without a blanket in the middle of the night. No, I'm always the person who steals the blanket. Even when I sleep with friends, I'm always stealing the blanket. But I think I do it because we, we, we're not friends anymore. I will sleep in the living room. Cool. No, I think that girls do that because it's so hard as a girl to fall asleep sometimes. Oh, yeah. So, once you're asleep, you want to make sure that you're not awakened by the cold. So, or anyone else. <laughs> exactly. So, and also, I don't know, like, I feel like guys, they sleep in any position everywhere. Oh, yeah. Just on a couch, just pass Exactly. Out. And girls, we need that, you know, like our specific positions, our specific pillows to hold, mm -hmm. our specific blankets. That's our logic. That's just how we work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, because girls during the day are more productive, I feel like our brains are more productive, like always doing stuff and going to places. I mean, if you're a mom, for example, you're always, you know, constantly mm -hmm. on the move. So sleeping is like holy, you know? Exactly. So that's why we steal the blankets and the bed because we, we need just our... needed more. Exactly. <laughs> we deserve it. We gave birth to you. So, well, not, not us, but your mom. I don't know what you gave birth to, Karen. <laughs> I give birth baby foods every month. Okay. Food babies, I mean. Food babies. Okay. Number 10 and last one. Girls, why do girls eat the food of the guy? That's something they don't understand. You know, I feel it's connected to what we talked about before. Like, you know, you're there with your chicken and your man is there with his steak and you're sitting there and you're thinking, oh my god, I made the biggest mistake of my life by not taking the steak. Listen, it's fixable. Just cut me a piece of your meat. I'll eat it, I'll be happy. I mean, I can give you a small bite of my chicken, negotiably, but don't want me to lag, share your food. Yeah, but also when guys 
ask us girls, do you want to eat something? And we say no, and then they go to the McDonald's and they end up with like a hamburger and nuggets and fries and you're just there like, I regret my decision. Exactly. Obviously, it's because it's difficult to be strong in your will when someone is eating all that food and it smells so good. And so, you're just there. Exactly, yeah. so you're gonna crave it and you're gonna wanna eat it. So what's the logic behind why we say no and then we end up eating? It's your fault. Don't eat smelly, delicious foods in front of us mm -hmm. if you don't want us to eat it because we can't resist it. As easy as that. Exactly. So girls, hormonals, cravings, mood swings, food, it's all related, you know? So now you know the logic behind girls. I know you're never gonna actually understand us, but you love us. You can try. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so well, girls and guys, those are the 10 things that are annoying for guys about girls and that they don't understand why. I hope we kind of explain it. We Good. tried. <laughs> yeah, we tried. I hope we gave you insight. Sometimes it may look like we're joking. We're joking also, you know? So don't take this too seriously. We're not scientific. We're not psychologists. We're just two people wanting to make a nice video for you. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a like, subscribe, and that's it. See you guys later. Bye. No, no, <laughs> no. I wish you the best of luck. That's my closing phrase. Sorry. I wish you the best of luck today, tomorrow, and every day of your life. Bye. Yeah.